Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead Space. The creepiest title screen in all the gaming. Uh, last time we played, I don't remember. I don't know why I keep saying it. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, oh, I know we're going back to the med bay now. Uh, no, that's where we were at the bridge last time. We are heading to back to the med deck to get the sh to get them this the chemical supplies so that we can um, head to hydroponics. Lethal devotion, chapter five. Going from the bridge back to the med deck. We're not traveling far. All right. So, as a reminder to myself, what guns do I got? We got the, uh, the badass laser. We got the uh, plasma cutter. Let's try. Uh, let's make sure. Oops. Let's make sure everything is reloaded. Get the line gun, of course. Gotta reload that shit. <laughs> Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not gonna buy us much time. Oops. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. Okay. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the I'm gonna get rid of the pulse rifle. I'm not really using it all that much. I'm gonna sell the pulse rounds. Plasma cutter, line gun, that'll do us good. The, the uh, whatever the fuck, if I can remember. Hey man, settle down. Evacuate this area immediately. That's the voice of that guy that was talking to Dr. Kine earlier. Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. Marker symbols. Obviously not. Alright. Like, I keep forgetting I'm wearing a headset, so even though I've played this game front to back way too many times, I've never played this game with a headset on. Contact beam, that's what it's called. Um, so, yeah, just loud noises. Spook! That spooked me! Alright, Diagnos Diagnostics Lab. Where are those things moving by itself now? Anything new? Yes. Sometimes when you come back to areas like other certain like lockers and stuff that were that were originally locked before, will become unlocked, um, which is nice. Uh, we got one node. We're gonna say what? I totally forgot about this fat ass fuck over here. Great. I'll say hello to this guy. <laughs> that, my friends, is what the flying jump is for. Typically, these guys will either drop credits, sometimes they'll drop, um... What do you call them? Uh, the semiconductors. Alright, so we're gonna head up. Woo! Get out of here, bud.
Okay. We'll uh, do this again. There we go. You're close to the chemistry station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. Thank you. All right, chemical research lab. Danger, issue of chemical research. Contains vaults of chemicals and toxic biological agents. Maintain safety procedures at all times. Thank you. All right, we have an audio log. Personal log, Dr. Charles Mercer. I now have a life cycle. Dr. Mercer, that's his name. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Kai. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Obviously and not. He says what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and marked. What are you doing with that? And I'm now attempting to create a passage to insert the sample to no. into he doesn't trust you, because he's dead. Alright. Thousand credits. Force energy. Let's have a node here. These two ugly mugs. This one, though, however, is going to be a bit of a problem. Plasma energy. <laughs> Contact energy. Take the chemical capsule. Antigen compound complete. What are you doing? Please remove the capsule. Your fight for a survival is admirable, but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that we had hope as a species. Am I the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? You're crazy, dude. Just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future, your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us. Our greatest creation. Oh dear. So this guy... This guy cannot die. Is recharged. Oh dear. Now you need to find a DNA sample of the growth. According to lab records, there's an inert sample stored in the ICU. A Dr. Mercer was apparently doing intensive research on it. I've been trying to contact Hammond, but all I'm getting is static. Isaac, you've 
I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I need health, I need ammo. Really? Seriously? Yeah, this gun doesn't do shit for me. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's just cut my fucking head off. Good. Hey, fuck. I'm like out of ammo now. Like completely. Yeah, you just keep crying. I 
god, an air can. All right, so we got an audio log. For some log, Dr. Chalice Mercer. The specimen continues to respond well to my experiments. Its cellular of fortitude, not to mention elasticity, is remarkable. Dr. Kine, I'm sure, would disapprove. But I do not anticipate that issue as the good doctor is busying himself with the marker. As if that matters now. He has also succumbed to the same dementia that afflicted the colony. Only yesterday he told me he had spoken to his wife. But Amelia Kine has been dead for some years. <coughs> My subject grows restless. Patience. Your time is soon. Very soon. I like how he thinks that Kine's a crazy one. Look at this. This is his fucking room, dude. Adding sample 9797 to chemical compound. Final mixing required. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to... This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extension. Life support system failure on medical What the hell was that? Uh -oh. Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented in space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. Woo! You're right, I don't have time. I don't have time to fuck with all y'all. Woo! Open the door. Alright. Life support. Activate. You've got everything you need to make the poison. Now get back to the chemistry lab. What are you going to do? Do it fast. Can I be breathing? You're cutting out, Hammond. I'm gonna try to switch over. Oh, shit. I lost his signal. I'll continue scanning for his location. You have to get that compound mixed. I was saying I need to buy some fucking... ammo. Buy another, uh, power note as well. All right, so now let's go back and mix this again. Jesus. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. All right. Do damage. We'll do. We'll do speed. And then when we get more. We'll do capacity. We'll do damage again, and then we'll do reload. We'll get the uh, the plasma cutter all the way up. There, I can do it. Processing request. Right. Please stand by. Final mixing complete. Please remove the capsule. There we go. Let's hope that poison works. Head back to the tram station and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit. Misplaced as it may be. I think... I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spurn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that, at least. Okay. So we'll break these. Or that energy. 
Cryogenics. You see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. So we got that son of a bitch. Now he's frozen. See you later, frozen dude. All right, well, that's all that. Power node. Something up, apparently. All right, so now we're back at the tram station already. That money, though. There's no store here, so. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this part. Shorter, a bit of a shorter part, only about 23 minutes, but uh, we're gonna be back uh, on the next part. Uh, we're gonna be heading to hydroponics. All right, there we go. Lethal devotion, chapter five done. Bit of a shorter chapter, not too bad, but, uh... Yeah. Had to kind of run through some of them, because it's just... You know, there's there's enemies that we just couldn't fucking kill. Because we didn't have any ammo. We're going to go ahead and save. Alright. And uh, next time it'll be chapter 6. Environmental Hazard. All right, so thank you all for joining me, and I will see you on the next part uh, in hydroponics. Take care. Goodbye.